is going to be a short video talking about the state of the art in terms of primary care physician awareness of prediabetes, their knowledge, practices, and perceptions. We get these kind of complaints a lot in terms of when we keep discovering, and I discover two or three a month, patients that have full-blown diabetes, not just prediabetes, and their doc didn't know it, they didn't know it. And you get a lot of hater comments about that. But I would say, look, before you criticize primary care docs, walk in a mile in their moccasins. Life is not so easy for primary care docs. You've got patients that don't want to lose weight that need to. You've got patients that want to take a drug or a supplement to overcome a lifestyle issue. Meanwhile, uh, you've got insurance companies bearing down on them to see more and more patients and uh, deliver more and more, quote, care which they define as writing scripts. So there's a lot of challenges in that space. This is a uh, video, uh, this video just briefly describes the, um, the state of the art in terms of knowledge, attitude, and practices and perceptions for primary care docs around prediabetes. This was done. It was published in um, the Journal of General Internal Medicine, September 9th, 2019. And as you can tell, this mostly came out of my old alma mater at Hopkins. Bunch of folks from Hopkins involved in developing this. Now, again, we get a lot of comments because people get frustrated that their docs don't know about the five stages of diabetes, the different types of prediabetes profiles you get on, um, on a craft insulin survey or they don't even know about uh, oral glucose tolerance tests, except for pregnant women. And even that, they don't know about. So let's just talk very briefly about the national survey. So basically, the, the background is, despite strong evidence and national policy supporting type 2 diabetes prevention, very little is known about type 2 diabetes prevention in the primary care setting. They did a cross-sectional uh, mailed survey to uh, assess primary care physicians knowledge uh, practice and perceptions here. so here are the results this was going out to about a thousand people 33 percent or two, uh, 298 responded they had limited knowledge of risk factors for pre-diabetes pre screening laboratory diagnostic criteria for pre-diabetes and management recommendations for pre-diabetes only 36 percent of the primary care patients were actually referred first to lifestyle management. The initial approach for 43% of these folks was to go with a medication, just give them metformin. The PCPs believe, primary care physicians believe that um, there are two types of barriers to diabetes prevention at the individual level. One was the patient's own lack of motivation, and the other was lack of system level resources. For example, not having uh, weight loss clinics that they could refer patients to. So as you see, we've got a major problem here. Patients are blaming docs and insurance companies. Insurance companies are blaming docs and patients, and docs are bl blaming insurance companies and patients. Everybody's doing this. We need to get together, start thinking a little bit more teamwork associated. Uh, the conclusions that they came up with was that addressing gaps in the PCP knowledge may improve the identification and management of people with prediabetes. But there are also systems issues that we need to work on. Thank you for your interest. Very frustrating. My name is Ford Brewer. I started off my career as an ER doc, and that can be frustrating because most of the things bringing patients into the ER can and should be prevented, like heart attack and stroke. So I went to Johns Hopkins for training in prevention, did well, ended up running the program trained dozens of docs there, and have trained hundreds and even over a thousand doctors since then in preventing um, disease. What's even more important is I've helped thousands of patients prevent heart attack and stroke rather than waiting for the devastation and hoping for a cure. 